Human rights organisation Amnesty International has released a report on the civil unrest in Turkey this summer that's critical of the police use of tear gas and their treatment of the Gezi Park protesters. It alleges potentially deadly canisters were fired directly at people. When you talk about more than 8,000 injuries that took place over the course of the, of the demonstrations, um, for example, when we spoke to the Human Rights uh, Foundation, they said that of the people coming to them, over 60% were people who had injuries from being struck by tear gas ca capsules. So it's very clear that police, and what we saw from the protests was that the police were using tear gas capsules as a weapon and not in any way that you know, tear gas is, is designed to be used. During the Gezi Park protests, the Turks got through two years of tear gas supplies in less than a week. Ankara is now so worried sales may be embargoed. It has tendered for a domestic manufacturer. But some would like to see the canisters banned outright. It was like a horror movie. My whole face was covered in blood. Because of the place I was shot, I couldn't breathe. Blood was coming from my mouth, my nose, my ears. Amnesty also says the police used undue force on many occasions and committed a long list of human rights violations.